Does Queen Elizabeth approve of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle going to Africa? It's an exciting time for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. After getting married less than a year ago, they are all set to welcome their first child any day now, and they just moved into a new home in the countryside town of Windsor, England. Not only that, but the news recently broke that it is now possible that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are going to be spending some time in Africa for a short time. Their lives have been such a wonderful whirlwind lately that fans are barely able to keep up. So, we have to wonder, does Harry's grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II, approve of Prince Harry and his wife going to Africa? Africa is a special place for Harry and Meghan. Africa is special to the royal couple in more ways than one. Extremely early on in their relationship, before it was even announced to the world they were together, Meghan and Harry spent a few days in Botswana getting to know each other. It was there they realized that they truly connected and wanted to be a couple. Not only that but the massive diamond that Meghan sports on her ring finger was sourced from Botswana as well. It is said that Harry truly loves Africa, and spent some time there as a way of escaping from the public eye immediately after the death of his mother, Princess Diana. Is the move definite? At this point. Buckingham Palace has only confirmed the possibility of the Duke and Duchess going to Africa. Nothing is set in stone, and no concrete plans have been made. It is always an exciting time when members of the royal family take on new duties, responsibilities, and adventures, and this possible trip would certainly be no exception. What is the reason for the move? For those wondering why a short move is being considered in the first place, it is said to be because they are planning to build upon their work for one of the Commonwealth countries. Harry and Meghan are president and vice president, respectively, for Queen Elizabeth's Commonwealth Trust. There has been some speculation that the reason for the move is due to tension between the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, but this is nothing more than a rumor. What are the pros and cons of the move? If Harry and Meghan were to move to Africa even for a short while, we may not see as much of them as we would like to. This means that we likely wouldn't see much of the royal baby, either. However, the main advantage is that they would be spreading their work to a place that truly needs them there, and would be delighted to have them. Also, it is wonderful to see the members of the royal family branching out in their duties and going above and beyond as to what is expected. Does Queen Elizabeth approve? She certainly does. Queen Elizabeth has a special bond with her grandson Harry and knows that he is always intent on doing what is best for the people around the world. The Queen also realizes that the dynamic of the royal family is currently evolving and changing, and that family members are becoming much more modern than they have been known for in the past. Chances are, she fully supports the move to Africa and will do her part to encourage the couple to do what is right for them. We know that Harry and Meghan absolutely love Africa, and we would be ecstatic to see them spend time in a place that is so special.